What dark secret are you hiding from everyone? I had an IBS attack once and had to violently shit in a church grounds behind someone's car. Used underwear to wipe too and left that there. Not proud. I was molested on a cruise ship by an employee when I was 8. Happened about 30 years ago. My brother and I did a 23 and me. We discovered we have a half sibling, same father, who is older than us. I messaged them but no reply. Since the half sibling is older. It was during my father's military career which was short-lived because he got a dishonorable discharge that he hides from his family still. I never have other plans that I just can't cancel. I owe the bank 100k. My grandpa was stationed in Okinawa, Japan during the Korean War, while in the Marines. He hooked up with a woman there, and she got pregnant. So, I have a Japanese aunt and a few cousins, in Japan, whom I've never met before. Most people in my family think that my mother recently died suddenly from complications due to cancer, but she really died from the toxic effects of oxycodone, morphine, fentanyl, and methamphetamine. Seems as though she just had herself a secret death party. My adopted sister knows her birth mother died in a freak accident. She doesn't know the cause of death was beheading. I worked with a guy that was a first responder to the accident. When I was around 9 years old I used my mom's credit card to sign up my shitty alcoholic stepfather for a porn website in hopes of starting a fight and her leaving him. FYI she did leave after another year or so. Current stepdad is a real keeper. Edited to correct a spelling mistake. Ever since my daughter took her own life, I have been hiding how much pain I'm really in. My family is beyond dysfunctional so it would create more crap for me to deal with. Although. I did tell my mom to gargle donkey balls yesterday and that made me feel slightly better. Two years ago one of my best friends and I went half seas on a fuck ton of Xanax. On June 8th we both took Xanax from the batch we split, I woke up, he didn't. No one knows I had anything to do with the drugs that killed him, and I don't know if I can ever bring myself to tell someone. My wife is handicapped and I lied to her that I find it hard to clean cut up mushrooms. She has self esteem issues because I can do things much easily than her. So I lied, and now she feels better. I don't know why, but I always keep thinking that one day I will cut all contact with everyone in my life, disappear from their lives and just keep for myself. I don't know why I think like this, I have some good friends. I sometimes wonder if a bunch of people in an elevator are gonna stab me all at once. It's like there's a hole inside me and the happiness leaks out of me faster than I can ever hold it. I've felt this way since about 12 years old. Counseling medication changing everything in my life none of it has mattered every day i wake up and have to decide not today i would be perfectly okay with never talking to any of my immediate family again call me maybe as my morning alarm once my mom dies i'd if i'm gonna keep going my suicidal depression isn't gone i've just accepted that i have to wait to die of natural causes because killing myself would scar my family and most people who know me for life I am a hardcore alcoholic. Some people know I'm an alcoholic, but nobody knows that I am actively drinking about three pints of vodka a day. Kinda just hoping my heart stops one night. I've lost my will to live living with chronic pain. Lost my virginity at 16 to a grinder hookup who definitely knew I was lying about my age and was at least twice my age. I actually kinda liked it. I'm definitely still bi. I signed my cheating ex up for Scientology and Mormon mailing lists lol. I walked in on my brother being investigated for possession of child pornography when I was 19, which severely traumatized me. He's now a registered sex offender. That was the darkest period of my life. I'm focusing on my mental health now, though. Molested by a relative when I was around 7. My parents doesn't know even my closest friends. I'm fairly certain I have a small roster of unaddressed mental and physical issues that are causing me to fall apart. But I'm afraid to press the issue with doctors cause I don't want to be labeled a hypochondriac. My girlfriend started selling used pants and stuff online. Someone wanted used insoles from her shoes. I walked for about 6 hours at a time at work and often just put her insoles in my shoes. Those perverts are getting off to the smell of my sweaty feet thinking it's a girl. I quit drinking 2 weeks ago today. I haven't told anyone because I don't want to be labeled as a drunk or a recovering addict. I donated sperm to two lesbian couples and I've fathered two kids. Sometimes I spend whole meetings wondering how they got the big meeting table through the door. I was a pathological liar. 
I have my suicide note typed out in my notes app, just in case my depression wins someday. Edit thank you so much for the kind words everyone. I needed to read all of that. To everyone who commented or reached out to me personally, you have brightened my day more than you know. I love you, thank you. I'm leaving the country on a long vacation and everyone knows. What they don't know is I'm not sure I'm planning on coming back. Going to try and live a new life out there and see how it goes. Mine? I found a massive collection of CP on my dad's laptop when I was a teen. I haven't told a single person and I still feel incredibly guilty. Edit my hands are shaking, but some of you are right. Gonna talk to a lawyer and see what options are there. I make up lies about what I do on the weekend, usually I don't do much and I'm very content with that. Others are always asking me what I'm doing and I never had anything to tell them. I make up lies to get out of phone calls, or plans. Saying I'm out of town or with friends. I love just being left alone. I stop getting to know people so they don't find out I have no friends and think I'm weird. My darkest secret, is that when I am with people I start to think about how I should cut people out of my life. Even if it is people who I seem to enjoy being around. I just cannot help myself but wanting to be alone, that having friends and family is great. But being alone, and having no contact with anyone excites me. Nice try Santa Claus. A pretty big coke habit. I have lied through my whole life to every person I know. If anybody finds out what kind of a bitch I am, I will be cut off by everyone. Okay, a lot of these are posted by the same users. I think that everyone either has a face shaped like a horse or a plate and when I sit in meetings I look round and decide which category everyone falls in. I have never been happy truly and 99 of times I just adjust with people forcibly and make them happy mostly without thinking mine.